Hey guys, it's Mimic. This is the continuing on. Uh, bleh. This is the continuation of the last playthrough, and I need to do a little explanation of what just happened. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But anyway, I was um, actually playing uh, an hour and a half of gameplay. It wasn't off camera. Well, it was, but essentially, I was playing an hour of the game but it was in after an hour I needed to check on it to see if the recording was going through when I was checking the recordings I found out that it wasn't recording there was no record of it, the recording happening I was yeah so what happened was an entire six parts of gameplay was not recorded so I had to reload the save file from the previous uh, save and upload it to now so what you're seeing right now is where we just left off but I wanted to let you know I've already played an hour of the game and I didn't record it mostly due to technical difficulties and because I left the preview recording on on the software so Yes, I needed to let you know that, so sorry about that. So, although this is technically bad f in, a tech in a technical standpoint, it's good because, well, you don't have to worry about me waiting to figure out the puzzles as I've already solved a number of puzzles already. So, let's continue. So we start off the first year, uh, the second year of Manny. He's got a casino, and he's raring to go. And for the sake of the fans and those watching, I'm going to try. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. I'm going to try to get all the dialogue without skipping it. My wartime communications from Salvador. He's been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news, as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck, my next letter will be born to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. Alright, so I'm going to try to get all the dialogue, even though I've already heard all the dialogue. Can't. What if Mecha makes her big arrival and I sleep through it? Ah, to sleep. Perchance to have nightmares about spiders and beavers. Calavera, it is indeed a great day for the revolution. Say hola to little Manny, the first enlisted messenger to serve the LSA. Please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. Manuel, I am sorry to hear that you have not heard from your meche. You must be patient and let your heart remain open. If it is meant to be, you will someday be reunited. Ha! Ah, he still thinks I'm in love with her. Manuel, we have found the head of the serpent. Using the computer access you provided us, we picked up a thread that led us to the man who corrupted the Department of Death. His name is Hector Le Mans. Once a small-time racketeer, he has grown fat and powerful by robbing the newly dead. Watch out for the name Hector Le Mans, Manuel. And be careful. Dear friend, our movement now has true momentum, and our numbers are rapidly growing. Much of this is due to our communications and intelligence systems, both of which we owe to you. In light of your contributions, I would like to announce your promotion to special agent status. I, Salvador Limones of the Lost Souls Alliance, salute you, Manuel Calavera. You are a great ally in this noble revolution. Great news. We've discovered a new secret talent of our tiny messengers. We don't know how they do it, but these mysterious birds can actually find their targets just by looking at a photograph of the addressee. To celebrate, Eva has made them all little berets. I'll send you some pictures. Manuel, I am troubled by reports of you buying the automat and converting it into a nightclub. It's fine for you to be comfortable in Rubacaba for your long stay, but I pray you haven't lost sight of the larger goals. It's not this world, but the next in which our true glory lies. I just got this one today. Beware, Manuel. 
or you are in grave danger. Somehow rumor has spread on the streets of El Marro of your presence in Rubacaba. If this information reaches Hector Lamans, he surely will send his evil operatives after you. You must give up your search for Mercedes for the time being. And please, be out of Rubacaba on the next ship. I think he's exaggerating the danger a little, but I do feel pretty stupid for putting my name on the big sign. Just a little bit. Alright. We're gonna speed through it a bit. We're gonna do all the dialogue, but we won't have to worry about We won't have to worry about uh You know, getting stuck on certain things. Hello Manny. Hola. Talk to Gladys. Quiet night, huh, Cardinal? Day of the dead ain't good for business, Chief. But last night, remember last night, Manny? Oh, wait! What's that you're playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> it's his car. Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. <laughs> I like it. You think she'll come in tonight? Who, my special lady? No, Mitchy. You know what, Manny? I think she will. I got a feeling tonight's the night. You know, when we leave, I'm actually gonna miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club, we got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty tack once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Gladys, I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've got to find Meche and help her. Because if it weren't for me, she'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. Well, I'll let you get back to practicing. I don't need to practice, man. I'm good. All right, so next we're going to grab this. Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Yes, I better take this with me. For safekeeping. I don't really want to do that. All right, we need to talk to this guy. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh. <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stubs. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, hey, Charlie? And when your hand is not oh, clipping Manny. through the... <laughs> clipping through the table. What else can you counterfeit? Nothing. Anything. How about driver's licenses? Sure. Just, um... Give me a recent picture, 50 bucks in uh, about two weeks, okay? So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports? No. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know? When I think of something I need, I'll come back. I'm not a wishing well, Manny. That's a nice suit. Where'd you steal it? Manny, if you learn to play the odds like Chow Chila Charlie, then maybe you too can have a suit this fine someday. Why aren't you over at the roulette tables? The roulette is for lonely widows and Frenchmen. Why don't you get some slot machines, Manny? Everybody, old women, little children, they all love slot machines. And I have a system, an infallible system for beating them. 
Now think about it. <laughs> I can tell when you're just humoring me, you know? I think slot machines attract an undesirable element. Oh, well, we're all undesirable, Manny. Yeah, but your credit's no good to boot. All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. Except me, Manny. I'm here to keep you sane. I can't tell. Is he French? English? Tell me your system, Charlie. I can't tell you my secrets, sir. Uh, just this. You have to become one with the bandit, Manny. You you have to get inside the machine and, and make it one to pay. On second thought, stay away from my roulette tables. Well, I've got a club to run, so... Oh, yes. Please, Manny. Get on with your glamorous life. You know, some people say you should always walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. Everything okay down here? I'm going to need some more chips if Monsieur Lucky does not call it a night, so... Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Alright, can you back up? Looks like Lupe's been in the sugar again. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Mary. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? Okay. Tell me all the details about your new coat check system. Yay! Okay. I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is I give one to everyone. Who checks a code in them? <laughs> Manny, you're not even listening to me. I go to all this work organizing your codes, and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Oh, I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. Please, tell me all about your new code check system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? Well, you could be a little more encouraging. I just hate seeing you get your expectations up every night like that. I'm not giving up on her. Hey, I don't want you to give up on Mercedes. Just have more realistic expectations, that's all. How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Could be, Manny. Just hang in there. Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. Okay. Back to work. Okay. Calavera Cafe. Yeah, he really did put it up there. Cutscene. Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! Ugh. Creepy birds. Who's that? Is that Mechi? Lambada.
this going to be an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha oh, oh. ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. There ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walking beam to fit in the neck here. Ain't that funny? Because a Lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Yeah, mm -hmm. Nothing. All right, so I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, 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 the limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son. And every hand on board works. Have you ever noticed that the ships all start with an E on the it starts with an L? Hmm. I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it, but he'd have to get his own tools. What kind of tools does Glottis need? Authentic CB equipment only. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> <laughs> Clever. Okay, if I get Glottis some tools, can we board? Uh, he can, yes. No offense, Manny. But there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew's on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman arranges a little late. But he'll be here before they sail. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha! Restaurant management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now. Except the fish is fresher on the limbo. What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that. But we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Glottis is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chump. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. So let me get this straight. If I get close, Look at him. Then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Seaman Naranja doesn't show up for work. But he will. And I get a Maritime Union card. Which you'll never get. Then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Jeez. I guess so. Where do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. I better go finish packing. I. you do that, son. Alright, so get tools, get card, get on the ship. Simple.